Hi everyone, welcome to our very first nutrition video. Today we're going to go over TDEE. What is TDEE? What it consists of and why it's so important. So, TDEE basically stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure. How much body your energy expends during the day. This is broken down into four essential pieces. The first being BMR. BMR stands for Basal Metabolic Rate and it makes up around about 60% of that TDEE number. So what is basal metabolic rate? Basal metabolic rate essentially is how much energy your body needs to consume to keep your breathing going and your blood pumping around your body. Okay, it is essentially the, the bare minimum amount of calories that's needed to keep you alive. So uh, BMR is obviously a number that maybe a lot of people are familiar with, okay? But TDEE essentially expands on that on your kind of daily consumption. From your BMR, we have uh, TEF, so the thermic effect of eating food, okay? So how much energy your body processes when you consume food and then when it digests and processes that food and then how much energy it needs to store that food. This rates up around about 15%-ish of your kind of um, TDEE, so of that total number that we'll be talking about more in a little bit a minute. From there guys, we go into EAT, so EAT. So that's your exercise activity thermogenesis. How many calories or how much of that percentage of that total number do you burn by doing organized exercise activity, okay? So for everyone, this is gonna be a little bit different depending on how hard and how long your training sessions are okay obviously if you're a marathon runner uh, and you are training in a kind of deep training program you're doing a 20 mile run um compared to someone who's doing maybe a zumba class a body pump maybe even a crossfit class you are going to be burning a lot more calories than the individual um, who is doing the zumba class um, or the crossfit class now, there is obviously an exception to maybe lifting weights. We have a, a kind of longer thermic effect going on after the training session because of the damage that's been caused to the muscles. Um, and that's something we can get into into a later video. But in principle, generally, the longer the activity, um, the more calories someone is going to burn compared to obviously the, the shorter uh, duration. And the final one is your NEAT, so your NEAT, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This is how many calories you burn on a kind of daily basis, just doing householdy kind of movement type things. So um, hoovering, washing, bathing the kids, playing with the kids, walking to work, standing, doing dishes, that type of stuff, ironing, just basic daily activities. Um, is your neat and this can make up to anywhere around about the kind of 15 to kind of 20 ish percent of um your kind of daily activity okay so now we've broken down tdee into its kind of four separate sections okay we're gonna work out on how do we um get a tdee number so the easiest thing to do would be just go to google um, and you can type in tdee calculator from there there'll be a bunch of websites that will pop up uh, they're going to ask you to put in your age, your weight, your height. Um, it'll ask maybe even for um, a body fat percentage and an exercise activity level. So um, from there, guys, you'll have a few drop downs. Obviously, you fill in all the forms. Um, it'll maybe say lightly active one to two times per week or sedentary would be zero exercise, lightly active one to two times a week, moderately active three to four times a week, highly active. Uh, maybe five to six times and extremely active is so that would generally be someone who has a very physical job and still trains five to six times a week or an elite athlete so there'll be basically maybe four or five categories in there that you'll be able to pick and choose from most people tend to overestimate their activity level so maybe if you think oh i'm a highly active person you can maybe drop that down one essentially all we're trying to do is find a beginning number okay once we have this tdee number so i've been to maybe three or four different websites 
and then I've averaged between them to find maybe a starting point or maybe for me 3,500 calories. Okay, so that's my total daily energy expenditure that I use just being as I physically am. Now, if I'm looking to gain weight, obviously I'm going to have to consume more calories than that TDEE number. And if I'm looking to lose weight, I'm going to consume less calories than that TDEE number. Okay, so that's essentially what total daily energy expenditure is. Uh, for me, it should be the starting point for the majority of people because we need to have a number to start to play with. From there, um, obviously this is kind of going into that calories in, calories out um, conversation uh, and then progressing into macronutrients and so on further down the line. So if you're looking to get started in the nutrition kind of um, process and you're looking to change your body composition, then for me, the first thing that you need to do is find that TDEE number and that will give you a starting point. From here, we can start to have those discussions, like I said, about whether your goal is to increase muscle mass or get bigger or decrease and, and lose weight. So we hope that video has helped you guys. Um, if you've got any questions, please drop a comment below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks very much.